hey guys welcome back to the channel in this video i'll be showing you how to create a business email address for your personal or business branding so recently i applied for your program and my request got rejected over the reason of applying with a generic email address like my name for example victorchinedo at gmail.com now it only makes sense aside just being professional having a business email address gives one a better chance of being taken more seriously business wise now there are obviously several reasons to why you might need a business email address but this is just a case study from my most recent experience. So in this video I'll walk you through how to create a business email address and how to link it up with your gmail account so you can easily receive and reply emails without having to log into your cPanel. But just before we get started first you need to get a domain name like mine for example victorchinedu.com and secondly a hosting plan. Now once you've gotten the hosting and domain name, depending on the platform you might be using to host your website, a thing or two might actually look out of place so you might just have to connect the dots as we move along. So for starters, my personal website Victor Chinedu is currently hosted on Namecheap and that's where I'll be creating the business email address from. So let's head over to Namecheap.com. I'll just enter in my login details. What we're actually looking to land on will be the cPanel to the hosting one to create the business email address on. So from here, I'll just select hosting list and then go to cPanel. Once we're on the cPanel, let's scroll down to the email section. All right, so from here, I want to click on email account. Now, this is the page where we get to create the email address on. So I'm just going to click on create. And once that loads up, the first option we have here is to select the domain name you would like the business email address to be associated with. So I'm just going to select my website and then enter in a username. For the sake of this video, we're just going to choose contact. So it's going to be contact at victorchinedo.com and then set a password in this field. As for the optional settings, we get to click on the edit settings and from here we get to allocate storage space to the email address. But if you don't want any storage limit on that, you can just check the unlimited storage box. We want to leave this to default and make sure to check this box to send a welcome email since we'll be using the instruction in that mail to link up the business email address with a gmail account which in this case will be the mail client. Once all that is set, let's just hit the create button. So that's how to create a business email address. Now let's move on to the next step which will be to link up this business email with a mail client which in this case will be a gmail account. With this we get to receive and reply emails on the business email address through a gmail account. So you don't necessarily have to sign into your cPanel to receive and reply emails. To do this let's head over to a gmail account we would like to link this up with. So I'm just going to open up a new tab and then head over to gmail.com. Entering my login details. Now to get started linking up the business email address to this account, let's click on the settings icon and then select all settings. From here, I want to select account and import tab. So where it says check mail from other accounts, we want to click on add a mail account. And that should automatically open up this pop-up interface. So I'm just going to drag this to the middle and then add in the just created business email address. So that will be contact at victorchinedu.com and then select next. Now for the next prompt, we should have the import email from other accounts selected by default. If we read this at the top, it should say either import mails from contact at victorchinedu.com to your Gmail inbox or use Gmailify. But this service provider is no longer available. That's why we have this option selected by default. So let's click on next. Okay, on this page, we have a couple of options here. We need to make sure it's correct. Otherwise we can proceed. Now the settings here may differ for some hosting, but in most cases, it will be the same. That's why we'll be making reference to the client configuration settings sent to the inbox of the business email address we just created. For us to know the exact information to put into these fields, let's head back to the cPanel's business email and from here let's click on check email. We should open up a new tab with a couple of options here. Essentially we get to select the application we want to open up the business email address with, either Roundcube or Heart. Let's just proceed with Roundcube, so I'm just going to select open. So we should see a mail in this inbox which says client configuration settings for the business email. And this will be the secure SSL slash TLS settings recommended for setting up the client mail. Now let's open up the pop-up again. And then enter in the fields as displayed here. 
The first field for the username in my case will be contact at victorchinodo.com. And as for the password, use the same password used in creating the business email address. So I'm just going to enter that in here. Now for the POP, which stands for Post Office Protocol Server. In my case, it's just my website name, but yours might actually contain mail.yourwebsitename.com. Since that's not the case for me, I'm just going to remove the mail with the punctuation mark. For the port, we actually have a couple of options to pick from. But like I said, always make reference to the configuration settings. But since we have 995 here, I'm just going to select that. Now let's move on to the other options. Starting out with the first one, we want to make sure to leave a copy of retrieved messages on the server. So what this means is whenever a message comes through our business email address, it leaves a copy on our hosting server even when the message is forwarded to our Gmail account. This can help us keep track of mails that comes here just in case we notice there are no emails coming through our Gmail account anymore, which is unlikely if we get everything right. Also, since we want to have a secure SSL settings to our mail to be deemed important, we want to check this box. And lastly, we want to make sure to check this box that says label incoming messages as your business email address and then click on add account. Now we can see that our mail account has been added. So you would be asked if you would like to send mails as this address, which we want. So I'm just going to click on next. On this page, we get to choose the name for the business email address. So basically when we send a mail using this email address, this would be the name that this place as from. So I'm just going to leave this as my name, check this box to treat this name as an alias and then click on next step. Now let's finish this up by filling up this field with the SMTP server settings. So let's make reference to this again. Username will be my website name without the mail and punctuation mark. And the password the same as we used in creating the business email address. And then for the secure connection, we want to leave this to TLS which is recommended. For the SMTP port, we have 465. So I'm just going to select that and then click on add account. Now this should take us to the next step, which is to enter the confirmation code sent to our email address. Sometimes you might just have to give it a minute or two to come up here. So let's just hit the refresh button. Okay, once that comes through, let's just open this up and we should see the confirmation code here. Now we can do this either way from here or Gmail itself. Since they're both connected at this point, I'm just going to open up the Gmail tab and then click on check mail now. The reason we have to do that is because the connection is fairly new. So as more emails come through this business email address, the quicker the response time. Now let's head back to the inbox and we should see a mail in the inbox with the same confirmation code as that in the cPanel. So I'm just going to open this up and then copy the confirmation code. Head back to our pop-up and then paste the code into this field and then select verify. So with that, we successfully linked our business email address with this Gmail account. Now let's send a test email to see if this is working. But just before we do that, let's make one final edit to our settings. So let's click on the settings icon and then select all settings. Come over to our account and import tab. So from here, we should see two email address under send mail as. The first being the Gmail address of this account and secondly, the business email address we just created. Under when replying to a message, we have two options to reply from the same address the message was sent to and then always reply from the default address. If we leave this to the default address, whenever someone sends a message to the business email address and we leave them a reply to that mail, it's going to be the Gmail address that leaves a reply and not the business email address. Since we don't want that, we want to select the option to always reply from the same address the message was sent to. So let's head back to our inbox to leave a test message to the business email address. So I'll be leaving a mail from another Gmail account to the business email address so we can see if we've got everything right. So I've got a new Chrome tab in incognito open up with a new Gmail account under the name of business email address. I'm just going to click on compose and then in the to field, entering the business email address we just created. And for the subject, I'm just going to put in email check. And for the body, I'm just going to put in check in business email address. And then send. So if we head back to the Gmail account we created the business email address on, we should see a new mail from the Gmail account we just sent a message from. And if we left a reply to this and click on send, 
we should see we have the business email address as the address that replied the message. And with this, we can be sure we've successfully created the business email address and linked it up with our Gmail account. And that's it for this video. If you got value, please feel free to leave a thumbs up as every like and comment helps my channel grow, which in turn helps me put out more videos like this one. You can also hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. So when I put out more videos like this, you'll be the first to get notified. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.